This is Capital Views. I'm Mike Bradner, and we have with us today Matt Clayman, a new ad a legislator from Anchorage, a Democrat, and but not necessarily new to uh, deliberative politics and, and uh, the government process. So, Matt, tell us a little bit about yourself, your profession, your family. Well, it's a you know I guess start with a little bit of background. I'm married to Lisa. We've got two kids that are now adults, both in college. Uh, first came to Alaska in 1980 to work in a mining camp and came back again in 1982 to work in another mining camp and then eventually went to law school. Um, I've been practicing law in Alaska for now over 26 years and had a real varied law practice, done some criminal prosecution, criminal defense, civil plaintiffs, civil defense, even a little bit of family law. So a real diverse experience in the, as a lawyer uh, representing people from all across Alaska. Uh, then. In addition, I have been active in Anchorage politics. I served on the Anchorage Assembly, uh, was chair of the Anchorage Assembly, and then actually during the time I was chair, then Mayor Mark Begich was elected U.S. Senator, and when he resigned to become U.S. Senator, then I became acting mayor by, by operation of city charter. So for six months, I served as essentially the, effectively the mayor of Anchorage serving in that role uh, until the next mayor was elected, and then I returned to the Assembly. And then in addition to that, I'm a licensed DMT and a wilderness guide. So those are, those are some of the different things that I have in terms of background so this, that I bring to this process to really assembly. isn't new to you. I mean, it's, uh, um, which is the most faster pace? Which is the, the more? Well, you I know, mean, you're just new to the legislative process. Sure. But, but assembly is different, and you're right there back home. Right. Well, you know, the biggest adjustment is here in Juneau. Uh, I, I've got to move down here and at least on weekdays here every day and I can go home on weekends whereas with the assembly it was a Tuesday night commitment and sometimes Friday afternoons and then, then we'd get calls and things to work on but we weren't meeting as frequently. And so that's one big adjustment and the pace is a little bit different. Uh, the legislature has I think more protocols and more traditions and so we spend our meetings a little bit slower, I would say, than the Anchorage Assembly meetings. Of course, it's early in a session, a new session, and they're always a, a little tentative. You said you worked at mining camps. Where did, where did you work? Well, one, one of the camps was up in the uh, a tributary of Birch Creek up near Fairbanks, and then we did some w work around Healy and McGrath, and then later that summer down in Ketchikan, all exploration. And then the next summer I was back here, we were working in the Kantishna foothills in kind of outside McKinley National Park but within the park and preserve. So does that give you a mining interest when you're here? Or well, is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm somebody that I, I, I kind of have this curiosity about just about anything and so the mining is something since I've actually worked in mining camps and seen operations at work and seen test drilling and stuff, I, I bring kind of a I'd say an amateur's knowledge about what's going on. So I have, you know, I have m probably more interest in mining than I might have in some other things because I've actually been out in mining environments and seen how the, how, what it takes to make those businesses work. Now, now your children are out to school, out of the state or in the state? Or right, right. My daughter's 21. My son turns 20 later this year. Uh, and one's in New York City. The other's in Boston, both going to college. So... Uh what are they studying? Uh, we they hope what yet? they're supposed to be <laughs> studying. I, I'm, I think my daughter's going you know, to major in environmental biology, and my son is a sophomore, and he's still deciding what he'll what major in. What he wants in, to do. Right? And you he's hope interested, to come home? He's both in, interested in engineering, but also interested in economics and, and some of the business administration areas. So he's, that's, that's his job to figure out. And you hope they can maybe come back? But well, I, I think that's... You don't know. I, mean, I think that's what all... Parents All work. parents' hope is that their kids come back and live nearby, but my parents lived in Texas for many, many years, and, and they came to visit, and I think they were pleased and proud of everything that we've done here in Alaska, but I think probably well, privately bright, they would. well-educated kids, it's not just the nation, it's uh, the world that's their market today. I mean, they can almost go anywhere. Yeah, I think and that's true. What are your interests here? I mean, you've been here just a short while. I mean, Well, you know, the the... Part of the reason when I ran for office was I really thought we needed to make more of an effort to be more bipartisan, you know, work together, figure out ways, not so much what divides us between Democrats and Republicans, but where is the common ground that we have a shared interest as Alaskans? And so that was one of my focuses is let's talk about finding this common interest. And then, of course, 
Uh, I think everyone here in Juneau knows the prime topic this session is the budget. We do have a budget deficit. Oil prices are down. It's having an impact on state government. We all know there are going to have to be cuts, and so that's whether by choice or well connected to reality, that's a big interest of mine and I think everyone in the legislature. So that has to make a transition to the public too, that what reality is and uh, no longer can they expect legislators to uh, bring home the bacon, so to speak. <laughs> well, it's, we certainly both on a national level and a, a state level, there's certainly a tradition of government certainly helping with different home projects and we just have to be a lot more strategic and a lot more thoughtful in terms of what we're doing as a state because we don't have a, a bottomless pot of gold to spend. We actually have to be careful and make, make choices that will keep us going with a strong economy. Now as Assemblyman, you had a strong relationship to schools. I mean, you provided the local share uh, to schools and the schools are intertwined with the borough. I mean, right. so is, is that a prime, I mean, we have some difficult steps ahead of us here. Well, education is really important. Of course, education is guaranteed under the Alaska Constitution, so that becomes an important part of education here in the state, and I think the, the framers of our Constitution recognize that. Uh, but in terms of the education funding decisions, I, I think we really saw it last legislative session when there were education cuts, cuts that were talked about, and a lot of public, the citizens came and really spoke to the legislature and I th think that impacted the education budget and I think the same group of folks, they're very, very concerned about education because I think people recognize and certainly I hear it over and over again in my district, uh, education is our best investment. When people say, what is Alaska's greatest resource? It's not oil, it's our, the people of Alaska, it's, it's our children. At the neighborhood school. Right, and, and it's and investing, it investing in education because that's the work that we can do and the support we can do so that when our kids are 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 that they're going to be in a state that has a strong economy and a growing economy. Matt, we're out of time. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. I'm Mike Bradner and this is Capital Views. Thanks for having me.